video, we're going to go over the uh, ITAD process and how to bring assets in as quick as possible. We're going to start out by briefly looking at the devaluation templates. Um, this is something you'll have to set up in your system. We've got a general demo template, and I'll show you. Basically, template consists of a name and all your attributes. So basically, you could have many devaluation templates uh, available at any given time. Gives you a lot of flexibility. If you look at LCD monitors, you can see the different grading options and if it's going to affect the grade. So if it affects the grade, you can build a point system. You know, if it falls between 0 and 3 or 4 and 25, it devalues 10%. 26 and 50 devalues 40. So you could configure these, add more grade levels, and you'll be able to go through all the various options. You could also notice there is an absolute value deduction. So sometimes you know, you, you're missing an uh, AC adapter or you know, missing a base. Um, you could have the settlement reduce the price by $15, 20 bucks, however you want to do it. So the goal is you would set up all your devaluation uh, templates per asset type. So if we look at uh, IMAX, um, you know, you could set this up NYX, top casing, uh, five point reduction, 10 point reduction. So it all kind of fall within the ranges here and whatever range it falls in. So if your buyback price or your fair market value price was a hundred dollar offer and for some reason there was somewhere between 60 and 35 uh, points assigned to that particular asset, it would have reduced it 40% off the hundred dollars. So once this is all set up, um, you could save these templates, clone them out, make small modifications for particular clients, or have one general template that will be utilized across all clients. So we're going to jump over to or fair market value. So in the fair market value, you could uh, create as many FMV price lists as you want. Uh, in this case, we'll edit a pre-determined one. So basically, you have categories, laptops, desktops, LCDs, and other assets. With the laptop category, you know, you're basically grouping as an i5 fourth generation. We're going to pay 125. If it meets any of these attributes, specs, we're going to pay the buyback of 125. If it's an i5 third generation laptop, we're going to pay $100. So this gives you an idea of how to configure these spec-based uh, universal pricing sheets. You could do it for desktops. In this example, I didn't do it. LCD monitors, so you could uh, you know, keep it very general. 19-inch LCD, $18, 20-inch, $30, $30, 22-inch, $40. Um, the other assets tab is used for pricing all sorts of assets. If your client provides you with a particular asset list, you'll be able to put a dedicated price for that particular model. Now, keep in mind, all these fair market value pricings will flow through the ITAD module, and then according to the grading uh, section, it'll devalue off this fair market value buyback price. Once you're done your FMVs and your grading devals, you will create a contract. So we'll start up again ITAD contract management, and we will choose ITAD test, which is an example I created. So the goal is fill in your contract information, and then you have your ITAD services page. On the ITAD services page, you're going to determine which DVAL template you're going to use. So you have an option to choose them and which fair market value template this contract will uh, follow. So based off these two selections, all assets received will follow this grading template and this universal pricing template. You also have the option to indicate pricing you're going to charge for DOD sanitizing, um, you know, other destruction and potential pictures of the merchandise. Once done, hit next, next and close. And what we'll do is we'll schedule a pickup for ITAD test. Select a customer, schedule an inbound order. And what we'll do is our trucking, uh, we'll do two pallets, 50, you know, 500 pound estimate. And when you're moving th through it, it's going to have you select the contract that's available. So you'd have to make sure you choose the correct contract. In this case, we only had one, so it's pretty easy. We'll hit OK. 
And you know, we could go through and fill out all the relevant information on the order details and other tabs, but we're pretty much ready to go. And I'll hit convert to an order. So order 10,051 is created. Now there's two ways to um, bring material in. You could actually click this order and a lot of people pre-print tags so when their people are on site at a particular school or a uh, another customer, they hit print UID and you could pre-print, you know, a hundred, a thousand different labels. So in this demo, I'm going to pre-print uh, 10 assets to show you. So right now, it's, um, the barcodes are basically printing out out of my printer. So what you're going to do is you would uh, provide them to your driver. Your driver would go on site and tag, you know, as many of the uh, assets as possible. You know, typically you'd print more than you need. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to receive this material in. So we're going to receive the truck arrives. We're going to hit receive. Now, we're going to bring it in as mixed electronics. And, you know, you would typically weigh it so you have some sort of uh, balance effect. You could balance the assets against what you actually bring in through the iPad. Um, and you're going to hit add. It's going to pre-print a uh, label that would track it as a lot. And then you'd break that lot into assets. Once done, hit receive complete. Now we'll jump to the inventory detail. And you can see pallet 77 from order 10,051 is received. You can notice there's a uh, SLA that we uh, set in the contract. So this ticker will keep track of how soon you have to process that pallet to be in accordance to your contract or in compliance. Now, once ready, you're going to select that item, and then you're going to jump to the ITAD module under ITAD, ITAD workflow. So we'll hit UID process. You would scan the pallet, and you could see here 150 items. Now, some people will actually type in the model here and scan the serial number, and they would do pass or fail. Pass basically brings it into the ITAD module where you can start collecting other uh, data collection points. Now, you could either say it has a drive or no drive, or you're not sure. If you're not sure, you click yes, it's going to go to data wipe. If you hit no, it'll bypass data wipe. Once you hit add, it's going to pre-print a label. Now, another fast way, since you pre-printed all these um, additional labels and you had your guys go on site and tag the equipment, you could actually just start scanning here the, uh, the IDs. And you could preset it as a pass. And if there's a drive, you can hit yes. If there's no drive, you hit no. And then all you have to do is scan the uh, asset. And as fast as you're scanning, it's basically adding the product to the grid. So your goal here is to bring in all the assets and basically hit pallet complete. In this case, I'm just gonna X out. You could always go back to that particular pallet to finish it, but you could see that uh, lot 77 from order 10,051 is all listed here. Now, what the goal is, is basically you're gonna go scan the IDs. So you would go to this grid here, basically scan the asset, and in this case, it jumped right to data collection. Um, now, what you would do is if it ran through an audit, you know, through like a spec capture, you would scan the serial number. And if it senses the serial number, it turns green, and you could pull back the data. Now, we will hit used. Uh, hit save and next. So then you could jump to D tag, scan the, the barcode again. If there's an asset tag, you could collect that here. Now, next step, we'll go to grading, and then you would have your guy scan the ID again, and it pulls up your grading. So this was the grading setup that we set up in the contract. So missing AC adapter, case modified. And you can see the evaluated grade is uh, decreasing. 
faulty AC adapter, cracked hinge. All this information is being collected will be provided in this time of settlement. So then we'll jump to the next uh, asset here. So now I'm going to scan the serial number of that particular product. So make sure your cursor is in the serial. Scan it. Pull the data back. Save it next. Go to D tag. Say this one has no tag. Go to grading. You know, case modified, damage rear doors. And that's it. Save it next. Um, you know, start back at the beginning again. Scan the ID. In this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose as a uh, LCD monitor, and we'll do a screen size 19 inch. Scan the serial condition, save and next. Now we'll go to D tag, no tag, and we'll go to grading. So you can see here the um, you know the grading templates are very specific towards the asset type. In this case, we'll say missing AC adapter and there's no screen damage, everything looks grade A. Now, next asset we'll bring in. We'll say it's a uh, iMac. Scan the serial number, choose a condition. If you didn't audit it, you could go through this process. Okay, so you can see here it's uh, IMAX specific grading. Uh, we'll say it has a bent port. The back case has deep scratches. Completeness, missing battery, light scratches, and nicks. So the goal is is to bring in as many assets as quick as possible and run it through this whole uh, ITAD module. Once the information's completed or once the order is actually completed, you'll go to a settlement. Now, in the settlement, you'll see you have order 10,051. You hit settle. And in this screen, you'll go to audit and ITAD. In the ITAD tab, you'll be able to see all the assets that have been processed. The ones in gray haven't been finished yet. So you can see here, these are the ones that were processed. Now, if we run through and take a look, um, you're going to notice that you know, all these are graded. So grade B, grade B, grade A, grade C. And you can see the fair market value price that we indicated to the customer of what we would pay. And depending on the missing uh, consumables or potential grading devaluations, they're listed here at what percentage it's discounted off the FMV price. Now you can see here we told the customer 125 and there's a buyback value here of 9250 because of those devals. And over here, you'll be able to see all your grading notes of what was selected at the time of grading. You also have the option to hit export, and this would bring all assets into a uh, spreadsheet that you could create pivot tables or manipulate and so on. Basically gives you the same information, uh, grading notes, devaluations, all the specs that you're capturing at the time. You know, obviously, once you've completed a full order and it's gone through the full uh, ITAD process, you hit settlement complete. And it generates a purchase order so you could pay your customer uh, for the product that was brought in according to the ITAD process. In this case, we owe 281.55. Um, you'd be able to check out the, you know, different assets here and what you paid for them. And, you know, once they're in the system, you have a true cost of what's assigned to that particular serial number.